So for the start, imagine that we have planned our project in a project planning tool like MS Project. Here you can see the list of my tasks that are defined for different departments. Here you can see the duration, start, end, person complete of each task, resources assigned to each task, and the gun chart. In Enduring Base, I have a project. I have an equipment folder, including all the physical devices. I have a functions folder, including logical structure of my plant. And I have a documents folder, including all my documents, including process, PINC, hydraulic, patterns, reports, and templates. Then here, uh, in the project control panel, in the tab of MS project, we have the same tasks in the MS project. So this tool is completely integrated with MS project. You can see the same tasks, duration, start, end, priority, person complete, note. Whenever you want, you can update it from MS project. This is the path of MS project. This is the name of the project. And this is the project start and end time. So in order to start the design of the plant, as a project manager, I go to the documents folder, process folder, block diagram. And then I will open my block diagram. Then I go to the functions folder, line B. This is my plant. And then solvent recovery section. And then distillation column. And now I want my process engineer to start working on this new block. So I will place the block on the block diagram. I will connect it to the other blocks. And then I will go to the project control panel and I will create a new task for my process engineer. I will assign it to the department of process. I will attach it to the task of process design from MS project and I will say that this task is 5% of the major task. You can see that the total person left is 90%. I will assign it to the user process engineer A. The state of the task is new. The due date can be end of next week. The quality check person can be process, um, project manager. And the task type is task with attached items because I want to attach this column to the task. So I go here, select the item, and I will attach the item to the task. And I will create a task. So for the purpose of presentation, now I go to the resources and I will change my role to process engineer A. And you can see that as soon as I change my role, I get a new message from Windows that I have a new task from engineering base. So if I go to the dashboard, I can see that I have a new task. I can accept the task, request more info, reject it, view statistics of the task. So there are five steps in, inside the task and zero percent is finished. And I can navigate and I can modify the task. Here on the right side, you can see the funnel of the tasks based on the due date. Here you can see the statistics of the tasks, which are in progress, new or more info. And then here you can see the statistics of the tasks, which are assigned to different people. So I will accept the task. And then I go to my tasks list. Here is the task. I can double click and see the specifications of the task. And here is an attachment of the task. So if I close this tree and I double click, then it will be navigated automatically to the task. And these are the steps that I have to follow. The first step is to design the simulation and import it into engineering base. So I will run the wizard directly from the step. I have already designed the simulation in the Pro2 software. So I will select it from here. I can open the simulation to see what's going on in the simulation if I want to modify something. I can directly run the simulation and solve the flow sheet. And I can import the devices into engineering base. So first I will import the equipment into engineering base. And you can see all the equipment have been imported into engineering base. Now I will close the simulation portal. And I will go to the equipment folder, area 200. And I will open the PFD. Then I will rearrange the streams to appropriate folder. So I will place streams into material balance. And simultaneously, you can see that the material balance 
table has been populated and I will put the devices into section 1. Then I will place the distillation column into the drawing. Then I will place the tank. Pump 001 and pump 002. I can assign the feet to here and to here and I can continue to design the PFD as following. But before that, I want to import the specifications of the streams into a drain base from simulation. So I will zoom to this table and then I'll go to the functions and I will find my distillation column. I go to simulation portal. So the simulation is already selected. I'll go to receive data and I will select my streams. And when I press import data, then all the data is imported from simulation to engineering base and it is shown in the table and all the relevant fields in the PFD. Okay, now that I have finished designing the PFD, I can go to the project control panel and mark my tasks as resolved. Of course, at any point of time, the person who created the task can go to the task and then view the statistics of the task and see how much is the task finished. And you can see here, now the task is 40% finished. And if, if you want to update the MS project file, at the moment you can see that the process design is only 10% finished, but when we update it, now it is 12% finished. And if you go to the MS project file, you can see that process design task is 12% finished. And in the same way, all the people in the project, they can create a task for each other based on a certain workflow, and they can track the tasks and the person complete of each task based on the real engineering data. Okay, now that I have exported my sensors, I can go to the project control panel, select this, the exported sensors, and for their design state, I would say they are new. And for bidding state, I would say they are exported. So in this way, I will create and I will also add a version. So now they have version 2. And now in this way, I will create a history point for these sensors. I also can go to the transmitters and create a snapshot from my exported worksheet. So I will call it A. And the snapshot from the exported worksheet has been created. Now the main automation contractor can open my Excel file, can see all the information about current state of my sensors. And at the end, there are some places for transmitter price and currency. So external party can fill these fields and he can save the Excel file and send it back to me. So when I receive the Excel file back to engineering base, I can run this smart Excel again. I can go to the import path select the Excel file and see the parts that have been changed. So I can import some of them and do not import the rest of them. At the import process, I would say that these items are purchased, they are received, their design state is received, and they have been created four days ago, but now I received the information about them today. I will start the import. At this point of time, I can create a new version for them. 
which means they are approved, their design state is released and finished. Okay, now their design state is finished, approved and purchased. Some of them are purchased. I can go to the item history of each of them and see what are the changes. And I can go to list versioning and compare my old snapshot with current state of the project. So I can see that these three items are modified. And if I come to the end, I can see the modifications in the worksheet. Also, if I go to the live log, I can see that all information is shown here, including the, the price, the currency and the changed states of the items. The live log is showing me all the activities which are happening in the project.